Last time we finished getting our grid set up and now we can navigate to another activity actually actually after we select an image. Now we need to basically make that new layout for this next activity here. So let's create a new layout file. Uh, or wait, I already did it actually. We already have activity next. And okay, let's change this to a uh, relative layout and get rid of this orientation. And the first thing we'll do is put this inside of a big scroll view and do match parent, match parent. And everybody knows that you are only allowed one child when you have kind of a master scroll view like that. So we'll create a relative layout that will be that one child. And now we're gonna build this layout basically just like we build every other one. We'll have a relative layout that's gonna contain the toolbar and I'll give it an ID of rel layout one. So this is gonna be kind of where the oops, toolbar is. And then below that we'll have another relative layout do uh, match parent and wrap content again and we'll just do below rel layout one and this one will have an ID of rel layout two and what we're trying to build here is just kind of going to have a little image view because if you look at actual Instagram there's just like a little preview image view and then a little spot to write uh, a description to describe your photo and to put in all the tags so that's, that's basically all we're going to do so we'll create an image view here and let's do 100 dp by 100 dp and we can give it an id of image share whoops and we can do scale type whoops scale type uh, center crop and center vertical true whoops and do margin left 20 dp and margin bottom of 40 dp and now we're going to create an edit text field to the right of that. So we'll just do match parent and then wrap content and say uh, to right of the image share. Image share. And let's scroll down a little here. And we can give it an ID of description. And we'll do a hint. So write a description and margin left 20 dp and just like the image view we want to center that vertically and we want I don't want it to give any hints so I'm going to say at null that'll get rid of that red line that goes underneath it I don't want to see that and then kind of below this relative layout now we want to add a progress bar for when we actually do hit share actually you know what I was going to use a progress bar but I think I'm going to use a progress dialog instead I kind of like the way they look better and I've been using progress dialogs in everything else in this app so I'll switch it up and I'll use a progress bar. Alright, so now we need to make a top toolbar for this screen. Let's see which one would be similar. Uh, it's going to be, basically we need a back arrow and we need a text view that says share. So it's probably going to be similar to the gallery toolbar because we're going to need, yeah, just a, just a back arrow and then something here that says share. So it's going to be very similar to this. So let's actually copy all of this. Actually, I can just do copy that and paste it into the layout. And we'll do uh, snippet top next toolbar. And what we need to change is get rid of this spinner. We don't need that. And the text view, instead of saying next, it's going to say uh, share. So we'll just say share. And we can extract that string resource. So string share. Oh, two R's there. Jesus, these planes. Why are there so many planes? And this image view is going to be changed to a back arrow. And we can do image view uh, back arrow. Okay, so that should be pretty good. And now we just need to include that, oops, include that into here. So do include and layout and snippet top next toolbar. Close that off. And there we go. Uh, maybe add a little bit of a uh, border here. So do background gray border bottom. And we could make this background white, but I'll just leave it for now. So now we're going to have kind of, we have a border on the bottom there and we have a border right here. So I think that's what Instagram looks like, I'm pretty sure. And we have our image view right there, which is just a square image view. So yeah, looks pretty good. So now let's go into uh, next activity and let's start actually making all these widgets. We're gonna actually need all of our Firebase stuff. So let's uh, go into something. We'll go into profile fragment and grab all the Firebase stuff here because we're gonna need all that. 
and throw all those in there and now let's scroll down and we're going to grab all the firebase stuff from here so everything to the bottom and we'll paste that in there and we can get rid of everything in there and I don't think we have, I can't remember if I use a user ID but I'm user ID, no I don't have it in here, that's fine so we we'll go up into on create and we can get rid of this log here and we want to set up Firebase auth because we're definitely going to need that. And we're going to have the back arrow and then also a confirmation button. So that's going to be very similar to what we have in the gallery fragment here. So let's copy these two things and let's uh, paste them in here. So that's we'll call it share close. I'm going to change this to back arrow and we can get rid of this view. And this is going to be image view back arrow and that's back arrow and we can just call finish on this activity here. So closing the activity and finish and we can get rid of this view, whoops, get rid of this view and this is the next screen. So this will be, I guess, text view, we'll just say text view share and I can't remember what I called it. Let's go into here. Oh, it's in the toolbar. So next toolbar and I just called it text view next. Okay, we need text view share. So copy that ID. We can close these layout files now. And we'll change this to text view share. And what is this gonna do? Definitely not that. Uh, and here's where we're gonna upload the image. Upload the image to Firebase. And when this activity actually starts, right away, immediately, we're gonna need to set the image. So private void set image. And we can just use a static call to the universal image loader for this. So intent, intent equals get intent. And then we need to get the image URL from the intent. So I think we can actually just probably set it. So let's get the image view, image equals image view. Man, there's like 100 planes flying over my house today. I don't know what's going on. And what did I call that? Whoops. R dot, I think it's image share. Let's just double check that. We'll go into our activity next. Pretty sure image share, yeah, okay. And that's good. And then we can just use a static call to the universal image loader. So set image to, we do intent dot get string extra, get string. Actually, it's probably better to check if it's, oh no, it can be null, because the universal image loader can handle null images, so that's fine and we get our selected image and I believe it is asking me for a default or why is this red here? Oh, because the universal image loader. Um, so then we pass our image widget and we can pass null and we're gonna have our global append variable here and we're going to append that same thing, we the same extension as we did in the gallery fragment here with the, the file extension here. So let's paste that up in our uh, variables. Oops bars get that up there so that should be good and that should set our default image to with the Im universal image loader and if you caught kind of what I was rambling about earlier I'm not checking to see if this is null because the universal image loader can handle null images what it'll do is it'll just set the default image so the app won't crash but usually what you should do is get the string from the extra and then check if the string is null before you actually set the image but in the case where you use the universal image loader you don't have to do that because it has the ability to actually handle those null images Okay, so get the image URL from the incoming intent and displays the chosen image. So um, this is a good place to stop. We now pretty much have everything we need for this activity. The only thing we're going to need to work on in the next one is actually building the method to upload the photo. If we haven't already, I can't remember if I did. And yeah, actually upload the photo to Firebase. So I'll see you guys in that next video.